Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some cleaning hacks that are going to make your life so much easier. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every single week. Next time you're enjoying your favorite candle and you accidentally tip it over, do not worry, there is a super easy way to get that candle wax out of your rug. All you need is an iron and a paper bag. What you wanna do is put your iron on low heat and then place the paper bag on top of the wax stain. And then you wanna slowly pass the iron on top of the paper bag and you'll see it instantly absorb that wax. What it's gonna do is it's going to slowly melt it into the paper so it's going to adhere to that paper bag and it'll be released from your rug. And then just continue doing that until all the wax is removed using a new part of the paper bag and as you guys can see there is absolutely no trace of that wax if you've ever gotten permanent marker on glass let's say your window or let's say you just had a little bit too much to drink and you decided to play tic-tac-toe on your wine glass you just need to dampen a magic eraser and that will get all of the permanent marker to come right off this is also a pretty cool party idea if you want to label everybody's glass for the evening and the next day you can just remove it have you ever gotten pen ink on your favorite article of clothing or maybe on your duvet? I know this has happened to me so many times. First, you wanna take your article of clothing, make sure you place something underneath it, like a towel that you don't mind ruining. And then you're gonna spray the area that's marked with hairspray and then you're going to start blotting it with a clean cloth. It is gonna look a little bit worse at the beginning before it actually fades away. This is why I say to place something underneath because the ink will leak through. But as you guys can see in the before and after, the mark has lightened significantly. If you have a pair of patent leather shoes and you notice there's a dark scuff mark that will not come off, there's actually a really easy trick that I do with all of my patent leather shoes. You just wanna take some hand sanitizer on a Q-tip and this will make the mark totally disappear and it has worked on every single one of my shoes and it doesn't ruin the leather. We've all been there. You're enjoying a delicious glass of wine and you accidentally tip it over on your beautiful rug. The very first thing you wanna do is blot up that stain. Try to remove as much of the excess liquid as you possibly can. And then you wanna go in and treat it with a solution. Now I've tried so many of the homemade DIYs and nothing has worked as well as this folic spray. After just a few scrubs, the stain is completely gone and you can't even tell that wine was spilled. Next time you get a deodorant stain on your shirt at the most inconvenient time, instead of using a dryer sheet, which in my opinion kind of leaves a linty mess, especially if you're wearing a black top, try using a dry magic eraser. This will get the stain right out without leaving any of that residue from the dryer sheets. So here's a hack that I tried just for this video and I was actually very surprised at how well it worked. So most of these hacks to clean these pans require some sort of baking soda and I'm somebody that just never has baking soda on hand. So instead I cover the pan with dryer sheets and then I poured some hot water on top and I left it overnight for 24 hours. Although the stain didn't come out like magic, it did scrub off very, very easily. I know you guys have all been there with those stubborn price tags that just do not want to come off and they leave that sticky residue. Well, an easy way to remove it is to just apply some sort of cooking oil and you will see how easily it all comes off. And then switch over to a clean napkin and you'll see that all that sticky residue will come off as well. So next up is for anybody that has marble countertops with a high gloss finish. You know that they are prone to etching when anything acidic hits it. So I did get a little ring mark on mine and I found this powder that only costs about $20 which is way cheaper than having to pay thousands of dollars to getting it all resurfaced. And I tried it here for you guys and it worked really well. It did remove about 90% of that etching mark. We had to take about one to two minutes to sit there and buff it out with a little bit of water and also the powder. I'm very pleased with the way that this worked and as you guys can see in the before and after that etchy mark is almost 90% gone. So those are the hacks that I have to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite hack and don't forget to thumbs up the video if you liked it and also subscribe to my channel before you go. If you like this video you might enjoy my organization life hacks. I will leave it linked down below for you guys and I will talk to you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.